Whoa, that was really wacky, wasn't it? Hello everybody, Calamari here, back again with the same backwards hat that I wear in pretty much every single video. Today we're gonna be doing another food review. That, it was supposed to spin. Anyways, we are going to be reviewing canned silkworm pupae. Pupa. I was at an oriental store again recently and I found these bad boys and thought that's pretty uh, pretty interesting so uh, there's really not that much else to say. I'm gonna eat some worms so let's uh oh yeah that is juicy. Oh god. Okay. Wow, that, that has a very, very interesting smell. Um, I'm not gonna flip it completely to the camera, but uh, if you can see that, it's really, really liquidy and there are some, you know what, actually, I'm just gonna bring the camera. All right, there it is, that's, uh, that's worms floating in water. That's not extremely appetizing. But that's what we've got, so let's make the best of it, and maybe we'll like it. All right, so we've got this strained out, and uh, what, what's left is the, the larva. These look gross. I know that in third world countries, this is a, a pretty common thing to eat, but I'm looking at the like mandibles on the heads of them, and it's just so unappealing, but, oh man. I'll do, I'll do that to start off. It's got a, it's got a really strong pop to it. You know, you bite into that and you can just kind of feel the inside. I know I'm really overreacting. It's just, I, I live in America and I have not been raised to eat stuff like this. So when presented a food in such a form, it's quite foreign. People in the US have been instinctively raised like that's disgusting, you do not eat that. So it's just very much a change of pace. It's not a bad thing, but um, yeah, that, that pop, I can really feel it kind of gushing out into my mouth, and I'm, I don't like it that much. But the taste is, um, it's definitely got an earthy taste. Almost metallic. It's not good, but it's like meaty, kind of. I, I really don't know how to describe it. It's quite unique. I will give them that, and... If you were to put this in a soup, maybe, kind of hide it a little bit, all right, that, that wouldn't be too bad. I, I could eat that, but just as is, I just, it wasn't enjoyable. The skin is really tough, and it has like a crunchy, grainy, chewy consistency. I definitely don't recommend it. I mean, it's a unique experience, I think, if you are open to... Uh, foreign cultures, this is part of experiencing other countries' cultures. Just like, you know, uh, eating sushi, that's part of Japanese culture. Well, eating silkworms, that's part of, uh, that's part of many Asian cultures. And it, it, it wasn't bad, to be fair. The taste wasn't disgusting, and the consistency, it's a mental block for me and for a lot of other people. But I think if you find these in the store, I think it's I think it's good to be open to it. Anyways, guys, that is my review of Korean canned silkworm pupa. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, you all have a great day. All right, guys, I'm gonna go put you in my parents' bed, see what they think.